Hi everyone, I'm Jess and I'm the content manager here at Course Report. Course Report is the resource for helping people find the right coding bootcamp for them. You can use the Course Report website to research the best coding bootcamps all over the world, as well as insights on which coding languages to learn, where to apply, how to break down all of that bootcamp jargon, and so much more. Today, I'm speaking with a bootcamp alum from True Coders. So one of the trademarks of a bootcamp is that students usually build a final project. So this recent bootcamp grad is going to walk us through their capstone project. Um, but first, let me introduce them. Jill Oakes was working in TV production before reskilling with True Coders this year. So Jill, thank you so much for speaking with me today and you're gonna walk us through your project. Um, so you just graduated from True Coders. I'd really love to hear first a bit about your online bootcamp experience. Um, first, what inspired you to make that career change from TV production to software engineering? After 16 years in TV, I was ready to make a change. About four years ago, I signed up for an online Python class. It was fun learning the new, all the new things, but I didn't stick with it. I didn't keep my skills up. Earlier this year, back in February, I pulled a book off the bookshelf. It was HTML and CSS by John Duckett. It's a beautifully designed book. It is really great for beginners. That's what really got the ball rolling. By the time I finished that book, I was looking for my old Python class notes. I was going to the library to check out coding books, and I was seriously considering quitting my job and enrolling in a code camp. And you know, there are so many online boot camps out there now. What set True Coders apart from all of the rest? For me, what set True Coders apart from the other boot camps that I researched on Course Report was the price. Uh, I decided for the upfront payment of $4,500, I figured that was right for me in my situation. That was $100 a day for 45 days, and I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. Um, another thing that set True Coders apart from the other camps I researched was the curriculum. It's posted right there on their website. Um, some of the other boot camps aren't necessarily as forthcoming about what they'll be teaching week to week, and you have to call and get them to explain it to you. But I knew that I wanted to learn C Sharp, and it's right there on truecoders.io True Coders that that's going to be what we're learning in class. Yeah, that was one of my questions. Um, what you actually learned in the boot camp? I know it's probably, as they say, the fire hose. You learned so much, but just in general, what were the languages or the skills that the curriculum covered? So I enrolled in the software engineering course, and in that course, we learned Git version control, C sharp, HTML, CSS, SQL, some JavaScript. We learned how to work with APIs, and we learned the basics of the ASP.NET framework. And since this is an online boot camp, um, did you feel connected to your cohort and your instructors? I did, and I was kind of worried about that at the beginning, but we used Discord. Um, I can talk with my, not just my own class, but with career services, with other graduates. They have a really strong Discord community. Um, I'd say I felt most connected with my classmates actually at the end of the class. We've been working on a project post-graduation and being able to sit down and talk with them about how their job search is going, it's put me at ease in my own job search process. Yeah, some camaraderie there. Um, and overall, were there a lot of projects? Is it like a lot of small projects or does True Coders just kind of focus on one or two big ones? We were doing projects every day. Every lesson has a project attached to the end of it so you can demonstrate that you have competency in that lesson. So at the end of the entire nine week course, you have a GitHub account full of projects. Now that we've graduated from the class, it's up to us to go back and make them better, either flush them out and make them bigger or go back and do uh, work on the, the front end presentation. Just add a general polish to them and keep your skills up while you're on the job hunt. So with that, let's um, have you share your screen so that way we can walk through your capstone project. All right, so Jill, what is the name of the project you built at True Coders and what is the problem that it's solving? This is Wordle Assistant. Uh, my project's on the left here and the Wordle game from the New York Times is on the right side of the screen. Wordle Assistant helps you cheat at Wordle. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. This is an amazing project. So how, overall, like how much time were you given to build this capstone project? This took an entire two weeks to build and it's only a nine week course. So I was doing 10 and 12 hour days to get this done before the end of the class. Wow. Um, so Jill, can you walk us through sort of the main features, like how a user would use this Wordle Assistant? I'd love to. Okay. So if you don't know, Wordle is a game by the New York Times. It's a word guessing game. You get six chances to guess a single five letter word and you get hints based on your guesses. You get green letters, uh, a green letter is in the word in that exact spot. A yellow letter is in the word, but not in the spot that you put it in. And a gray letter isn't in the word at all. So in Wordle Assistant, if you submit an empty form, you will get every possible Wordle answer. I'm going to use the hint button here to get started. To begin, try cho choosing two words with no letters in common, like resin and loaf. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, we've got some yellow letters. I'm gonna put them into Wordle Assistant. The yellow letters can go in any spot and the grays go down here. I'm going to click Submit. And now we have 22 potential answers. From here, you kind of have to use your noggin and determine, you know, the L is in there, but it's not in the first spot. So we're not gonna use llama. And the A is in there, but it's not in the third spot. So we're not going to use qualm as a guess. But, you know, something like amply or balmy might work. Try balmy. No green letters, but we got a lot of yellow letters. I'm going to return to guess. The L and the A are there. We're going to add the M and the B and put the Y in. There you go, there's your answer. Oops, B-U-M. So now that you have the answer, you can log your game in Game Tracker. You can click this button here or go to Game Tracker up here and use Log a New Game. Uh, this field here only accepts valid Wordle answers. So you can't put any word into this database. Put al album, we'll put that we won and today's date and hit submit. Game Tracker is a place to keep track of all your Wordle games. It is fully CRUD functional. You can create, read, update, and delete words from the database. And that is Wordle Assistant. Wow, this is like really ups people's Wordle games. I love this. Um, I feel like I just learned so much. So how did you actually build this? Um, like either the programming languages or anything behind the scenes to get it running? Um, this program is built mostly on C Sharp and HTML, and I use the ASP.NET Core uh, MVC template that's built into Visual Studio Community to get started. Did you rely on everything you learned at True, True Coders in order to build this, or did you have to learn actually lots of new things to make it work? It was a little bit of both. Um, definitely the logic for sorting the words from that giant word list into something more manageable came straight from the SQL lessons that I learned at True Coders. Uh, one of the things that I had to learn on my own was the client side validation for the, the game tracker, where you can't put any old answer in there. You have to have a, a valid word or word. And the way I learned to do client side validation was to Google it. There's a lot of good coding blogs out there. And of course there's Stack Overflow. When you got stuck building this project, could you rely on the True Coder staff or even your cohort to just help you out? Oh, yeah. Uh, the great thing about working with everyone at True Coders is they, they want to help you succeed. So when you're in class, you can jump into a, a Zoom breakout room with your instructor or with the TA. Um, after class, you can schedule short Zoom one-on-one -on -one sessions with your instructor or TA to get your questions answered there. And then even at night, like when you're working on your project after supper and you get stuck, you can hop on Discord and shoot a message off there and maybe a different instructor will respond or sometimes even like a former graduate will hop in and give you an idea of like where to look and where to Google. So there, you really do have a whole community to help you out. 
And once your cohort was finished building their capstone projects, was there a kind of demo day, a virtual demo day? There was. Uh, we all presented on graduation day and getting to that point where you have to show your project in front of everyone is really nerve wracking, but it, it, it was a great experience. There, there were so many good projects that day. Uh, there were several other students who had really polished websites that looked like a million bucks. So Jill, you're on the job hunt now. Do you anticipate speaking about this final project um, during your job interviews? I hope so. Uh, I love talking about Wordle and I love talking about this project. Uh, even the points that were really frustrating and really hard to do, I feel like I learned a lot. Um, I feel like I, I can do hard things. And I when I get stuck, I know how to go ask the right question and try to find the right answer on my own. And how did True Coders get you ready for the tech job hunt? Every week at True Coders, we meet with Denise Shines. She's the career services director at True Coders, and she walks us through the things we need to find our next job. Um, when I started at True Coders, I wasn't using my LinkedIn. And with Denise's advice, I was able to build it up, market myself as a software developer. Um, I used Denise's advice to revamp my resume from something that said, I was competent at television production to now that's something that says I have a lot of finished coding projects under my belt and I would be a great asset to your company. Uh, Denise Shines also at the end of the class met with us uh, individually and did mock interviews with us so that we would be more prepared for the interviewing process. That sounds so helpful and super comprehensive since obviously the job hunt requires lots of skills, um, all kinds of soft skills, especially. Um, which jobs are you applying for now? Like which ones do you feel prepared to apply for? Um, certainly I feel prepared for the junior software development roles. Um, I think that I would be a good candidate for um, coding adjacent roles, uh, like analyst, anything that's marked low code or no code. Now that I have a coding background, I will be able to participate in those jobs much better. Um, but I personally am going to stick with software development roles and see how that goes. And Jill, you mentioned earlier that you had done some self-teaching before enrolling at True Coders. Um, sort of what's the difference between self-teaching and doing an immersive boot camp? When I was doing the self-teaching, I was holding down a full-time job and the learning came in fits and starts. It, it just did it when I had the free time, but enrolling in True Coders had a real finality to it because I was making a conscious, scary decision to quit my job and reskill in software development. So there's a whole new level of accountability, um, accountability to myself that I'm doing this for my future job prospects and account accountability to my family that I'm going through the, the growing pains today so that in a year or two from now, we'll be in a better financial situation. And do you recommend that any incoming True Coders students do a little bit of self-teaching and just basic coding in order to get the most out of the experience? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Um, if I had to give them any advice for any, any, any code camp participant is do that self-teaching, do the pre-work. Um, True Coders actually recommends that we check out a place called sololearn.com and a place called w3schools.com. Uh, learn the basics of C Sharp and SQL, HTML and CSS. You are going to be on such a better footing when you start the class. You're going to be able to ask better questions because you've done that pre-work. That's great advice. Um, kind of piggybacking on that, is there anything that you wish you had known before you started True Coders <laughs> that you'd love to share with future students? I'd say this is gonna sound so trivial, but it, it really is the truth. If you have any way to get a multi-monitor set up, two or three monitors, it's going to make a world of difference in how well you're able to retain and learn information. I was able to have my instructor teaching the course on one screen and take notes and code on a side screen. And I didn't have to switch back and forth and fiddle with windows because it was all up on the same screen space at the same time. I love that. It's, it seems so simple, but setting up that learning environment can really make a difference. Um, so you have just graduated, so you're still in the process, but so far has True Coders been worth it for you? 
I'd say Tree Coders has definitely been worth it. And I'm really glad that I enrolled. Uh, my long-term earnings potential now is in a whole new realm than it was now that I've reskilled. And software de development is a field that I can grow in for years. It is a growing field and I can grow with it. Um, True Coders was the right price and the right length of time for my personal situation. And now I've got a community of people who have similar goals as me. So I'm really glad I made the leap. Well, that's a perfect place to wrap up this capstone project spotlight. It was so cool to see what you were able to build in just two weeks at True Coders, Jill. Thank you so much for talking with me today and best of luck in your new career. So we will be posting a recording and a transcript of this video interview on the course report blog with contact information for True Coders, just in case you're interested in applying for any of their upcoming cohorts. And thanks so much to all of you for watching. Tweet at us, email us, let us know which topic you'd like us to cover next on the Course Report blog. And in the meantime, you can follow Course Report on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're a bootcamp alumni, don't forget to post a review of your own bootcamp experience on Course Report. Your review is a huge help to anyone thinking of getting into tech today.